Yu's ready for another mini-series. I promise this one won't be too long. It's normal to ponder the existence of players in certain eras for a whole host of reasons. We all call Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo the greatest of all time. But would we hold the same viewpoint if Ronaldo, Nazario, Zinedine Zidane or George Best all played now? Also, we might wish certain players were able to exist amongst modern tactics. How would Adolfo Pedernera fare in a world currently littered with inside forwards which he helped popularise in the 1940s? Would David Beckham be a winger or a wing back or a central midfielder in the 2020s? This week, we'll aim to answer all of these burning questions. Do you like football podcasts? Do you like reading articles about football? Do you like football video games? If you answered yes, we've got something for you. We have a Patreon page and at patreon.com forward slash what if football for just one pound a month. Get your football podcasts, articles about football, more alternate football history and football video game stuff. Like remembering great games, we've got the Great Games Podcast. Want to find out who's better between a team or a player? We've got the Head to Head Podcast. Want current football covering? We've got the weekly podcast and weekly column. Five days a week, 50 weeks a year, £1 a month or 4.8 pence per piece of content. Join the team at patreon.com forward slash what if football. Sir Alex Ferguson lifted the Premier League trophy aloft, his final action as manager of Manchester United. Ever so slightly to his left, in his second senior football season, clutching at his first medal as a United player, David Beckham. As the players were long gone following the 1-1 draw against Swansea in May 2013, the party in the stands continued well after, with the celebration of finally knocking Liverpool from their perch of 18 league titles. His role in the squad was to interchange with Antonio Valencia whilst Rafael da Silva maintained his right-back role. However, with the advent of David Moyes and quickly thereafter Louis van Gaal, the backline was almost unrecognisable as Beckham entered his early peak years in the mid-2010s. Out went Rafa da Silva, so too the experienced heads of Patrice Evra, Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic. Not even Beckham could save David Moyes' job, but there was a very real combination cheat code and it was the whipped delivery of the Englishman onto the furry bonce of Marouan Fellaini. Still with 7th place in mid-April and no qualification into the Champions League, the axe was wielded on David Moyes. His interim manager Ryan Giggs delivered the best performances out of Beckham yet, with the midfielder netting in all four of Giggs' games in charge. Louis van Gaal's signing as manager brought optimism and also a potential new role for the Englishman. Together with new signing Daily Blind, Beckham was deployed as a wing-back in a 3-5-2. Defensively, United looked solid despite the transitions from the Champions League names of Ferdinand Vidic and Evra into Johnny Evans, Phil Jones and Chris Smalling. Despite United reverting to a back four, the brief Dutch experiment led Beckham's career down a completely different path. A 100% start to Van Gaal's reign ended in the ignominy of a 5-3 defeat at the King Power Stadium to the newly promoted Leicester. Little did United fans know that by the time Beckham departed the club in six years' time, the Foxes would have more Premier League winners' medals than the record holders. What's more, United wouldn't solely hold the record for the most Premier League titles by 2020 either. Beckham would retain a spot at right-back, delivering from deep and overlapping another relative newcomer to the team in either Juan Mata or Jesse Lingard from the right. The 2014-15 season rarely made headlines for Beckham, in spite of his, by this point, trademark free kicks as United finished in third place. Well, it was seldom headlines on the pitch, in comparison to his engagement and then summer wedding with, picking a random girl band off the top of my head, one of Little Mix, why not? With that, the Beckham brand was born. To the layman, he was quickly outgrowing football as his superstardom shot out of the stratosphere. In a vacuum, with the quality of player at his disposal, Louis van Gaal's time at the club should be attributed as a success, with successive Champions League finishes and an FA Cup trophy to his name. Beckham had not only become a permanent fixture in the squad, but with the graduations of Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford, there were whispers of another new distinguished Manchester United Academy class. All three found the net at Wembley against Crystal Palace and all three were lining up for their first England tournament later that summer. Rashford made it off the bench for the second game against Wales at Euro 2016 in a 2-1 win, whilst Lingard and Beckham were finally given time for the final group contest against Slovakia. 
whilst Daniel Sturridge's last gasp winner against Wales will be the landmark moment from England's tournament. David Beckham sprinkled in some magic with a match-winning free kick in the final group game, which sent England top and into the easier half of the draw. Beckham finally started from the off in a 3-0 last 16 victory in Paris against Northern Ireland before England's dreams crumbled, as they had done in 1998, 2002, 2004, 2006 and 2012 at the quarter-final stage, losing as they did to Belgium. The next landmark performance in Beckham's career was in his England performances under Gareth Southgate. Playing in a 3-5-2 again ahead of the World Cup in 2018, Beckham was shifted this time into central midfield, owing to the abundance of right wing-backs. Soon followed after a League Cup, FA Cup and Europa League success of 2017 and 2018 under Jose Mourinho, a new blueprint for club level two, as Beckham netted three goals in his first World Cup where England reached the final, losing to France. Whilst Beckham would finally reach the pinnacle, lifting the European Championships in 2021, scoring the winning penalty in the final against Italy, he would have to depart Old Trafford to gain similar success. In 2020, he swapped Manchester for Madrid and within two years added league titles and the Champions League with Real.